Now I got a question. <clears throat> it's controversy. Uh, I typed in pay Mozzie. Pay Mozzie on YouTube. Not Mozzie. Pay Mozzie on YouTube. <clears throat> and uh, Gossip Blog. All the juice. Yep, popped up. And then it had Rocky Bad. Day Day Badass. Shout out to Rocky. <laughs> and Pay Mozzie. This is old, old controversy, but I would just, we just want to get your side of the story if you would like to explain, or if not. No, I don't know about it. how far back this go. This is probably 2017. Okay, okay. But, I mean, in 2019, me and Dede are the dog ass song on Trap Shade. And me and Rocky love the drop song. Mm-hmm. So whatever was in 2017, that's that's, yeah, done. that's done. Okay, all right. Yeah, nah, that wasn't juicy enough. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be talking about say something? Yeah, not them. I let them make it cool. So how did you guys come to a resolve? I mean, honestly, um, Rocky called me and Day Day. Maybe Day. Oh, me and Day Day be kind of got settled by some higher ups but at the end of the day it was little female shit so it wasn't really it wasn't beef for real mm -hmm. we just had to have mediators and you know what I'm saying? you say your time alright you say your time now do y'all see how that even mm -hmm. alright cool you know what I'm saying like it wasn't all of that it was it was never nothing for real okay mm -hmm. not never nothing for real but it was able to be Talked about right and resolved. resolved. Right, like right. Can be done. So with that being said, what's your take on you know like rap beefs? I mean, if it's real, it's real. Mm -hmm. Take the rap right off. <laughs> <laughs> take it to the streets. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, um, but that, that's the, but if we're talking about rap beefs, that's exactly how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. They're rap beasts. Okay. Yeah. You a gangster, dog. I swear to God. <laughs> we got a gangster on the If you see me on the streets, just know I'm real. <laughs> when you Where's see me, me, bitch, you know it's me. <laughs> you so you said you got a new song called Trap Sade? No. No, no. My whole tape. Whole tape. That's like maybe March or April of this year. Okay. I'm not gonna say it's old because nothing is old because it's like a billion people in the world. You know what I'm saying? So even my old shit, people have never heard. Mm -hmm. So nothing is old, but I have more music and something else about to drop. Okay. Okay. Can you share a little bit with us on that? Um. Yeah. I um. I basically. Spend all of my Sundays going to New Music Sundays, and I take them to New Music all the time. And um, they just were like, well, with Trap Shade, they said I had too many features. So it was like, you need to show yourself more. So it was like, you want a single to push, okay, go do like two songs, and we could pick out of those, two, three songs, we could pick out of those, and I ended up just doing the tape. Locking in the studio, 10 hour sessions, 2 hour, 3 hour, just a dance, however I was feeling. Yeah, I just came up with a new tape. I don't have a name for it. Oh, wait, I lied. I do. But it's going to be an A and B side. It's going to be 10 songs on each side. And the whole song, I mean, the whole tape is called the E side. But not East. The E, as in Edward, and then just side. Right, as in Edward. <laughs> <laughs> as in Edward, for sure. Okay, so what is uh, what is the E side? The E side is the everybody side. So you speaking for everybody? All right, I lied. Likes beans. She likes e pills. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. So just being in her world kind of put me in a whole nother zone. Okay. So it's the E side of the ecstasy side. It's kind of, it's kind of, I'm not going to say it's drug motivated, but I mean, I talk drugs. Like, what? It's drugs in there. So you tried ecstasy before? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> I just feel like when you're a rock star, you just, you know what I'm saying? You, you dip and dab and stuff. Mm-hmm. Not everything. Right. But nope. Okay. I know people. Okay. Okay. I might surprise some people, but I don't know. I just ask because I know, like, the, from people that I've talked to that have taken, you know, mushrooms and ecstasy and, like, all that stuff, it puts you, they say it puts you on, like, a whole nother level. Yeah. I just feel like it's a mind thing. However you take a drug, it's how you're going to but I I, um, I performed at the Hash Bash earlier this year and they had mushroom cupcakes and I took one mm-hmm. while well, I ate one and um I was happy mm-hmm. I was fine but uh, it just depends it depends on your weight you know, so yeah. you might trip you got a little more weight on you, you might right, right. it just depends on the person honestly mm-hmm. okay